Hello, welcome back, Steve's Retirement Corner, Flashback Friday, My Pension. Back when I first mentioned My Pension, it's been over a year ago, probably close to two. I got a lot of comments from, uh, not a lot, but I got a few, <laughs> uh, from people wondering if I would have been able to retire when I did, if I didn't have um, my pension. And right off, I said, no, man, there ain't no day on way I could have afforded it. But I was wrong, man. I was dead wrong. Now that I've been retired a while, I got a feel for it. I kind of understand more what's going on. I could have retired back then at the same time, and it wouldn't affect our lifestyle and retirement one little bit because I, I'm pulling from my 401 to live on. My pension has little to no effect on our quality of life in retirement. Uh, having my pension allows me to buy a little bit better uh, quality health insurance is what it does. Uh, all I would have had to do was go on Obamacare with the um, subsidies I would have been eligible for. You know, my, my premiums would have been z nothing or, or darn near it. And it wouldn't have affected our lifestyle and retirement at all. I get um, I get a little over a thousand bucks in a re uh, pension from Strain Factor. Um, no, I'm sorry, the um, chemical chemical plant. And uh, after taxes and uh, insurance, it, uh, you know, I I clear about 150 bucks a month. It, you know, depending on how empty I run the truck and the price of gas, I I can fill the truck up and maybe treat the baby to a Waffle House once in a while. <laughs> it has no effect on our uh, our lifestyle, what we do or what we spend money on, because I'm using my 401 for that. It allows me to a little bit to to buy a little bit better uh, coverage in my health insurance. That's it. I look at it as sort of like um, free insurance, even though I'm paying for it, you know. It doesn't affect our spending money. And, uh, you know, hopefully, the thing is, is uh, at, at 60, I get another uh, about 500 bucks from the daggone string factory. Uh, I'm hoping that there, well, I, I, I could get that now, but it would be less money. Uh, by holding off to 60 it's it's sort of um it's one of my two built-in raises I built into my retirement in the first few years of retirement at 60 I'll have about seven eight hundred dollars more available to spend <laughs> than I started with in the first few years of retirement last year I mean that's about a 20% raise or so I ain't bad for three or four years but uh, the plan is is to use my uh, pension from my chemical company and for the um, string company to um, hopefully when I time I get to Medicare age it it uh, it help defer some of the cost for that too as far as the premiums and what they take out your Social Security and junk so it's almost like I got you know free health insurance right on through retirement because <coughs> it don't affect what we what we need to live on you know, I think uh, I think pensions are something that's highly misunderstood for a lot of people. First time they hear somebody's got a pension, they think, "Man, you got it made, man. You're living a life of luxury." But some people do, Doc. Steve ain't. <laughs> but some people do. Hey, man, you look. If somebody's getting four or five thousand dollars for a pension, and you know they had two, you know, two or three thousand, or four thousand more on top of that for Social Security. They're making a hundred grand a year and ain't batting an eye. But I th don't think a lot of people understand how they're uh, how they're figured and how uh, how the withdrawals work or how the uh, how you take it, how you take your payments, how much that stuff affects how much you get. You know, I ain't no expert on daggone pensions. I know mine pretty daggone good. <laughs> But most of them figure it the same kind of way. They use something called a Social Security wage base to figure them off of. Uh, the years of service you put in makes a big difference. 
you know, there's no way with me less than 20 years service is going to make nowhere near the money somebody made 30 or 40 years made. Um, the, uh, your average monthly pay makes a big difference too. Uh, and, it, and that's figured different depending on what, how your plan calls for. The string factory use your last five years. They get your monthly average from those those five years. Uh, the chemical company uses your your best five consecutive years out of your last ten, whether it's ten to six or five to one or any consecutive five year period in that time frame. Whatever is your highest paid five years, that's what they take it from, and that makes a big difference. <clears throat> That's why you see guys work all kinds of overtime towards the end of when they're getting ready to retire to try to increase their uh, their payout, their pension. So don't, I mean, just because you don't have uh, a pension, man, don't be worried that you can't retire. You're just going to have to figure it a little different, you know. It, 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 it ain't easy with a retirement. <laughs> You know, I know it can't be too easy for uh, not to have one, but it is a possibility. All I had to do would have been change that one little thing, and I, I'd have been living just as well now without it as I am with it, you know. But uh, and the way you pull it out, the way you receive your payments makes a big difference, too, in the amount you get. I don't know, I don't know how it works for... Uh, for everybody I don't know if it's a federal law or if it's just something they do in Virginia but your spouse is guaranteed uh, that if you die they get half of whatever your pension is if you get a thousand bucks they get 500 when you die the only way to get out of that is to uh, they have to sign a waiver it has to be notarized no matter that they might get more money you know it might be less money up front to begin with but once you die they're gonna get more than they would have received it made no difference. <clears throat> but uh, we had an offer, or we get 50% automatic. We could have got 75%, and uh, we could have got 100%. I went with 100%. It's the less, it's the lowest monthly payment. Uh, like we, I would have got, at 50%, I would have got 1100 bucks a month. 75, but the baby wouldn't have got but 550. 75. At 75 percent I think I would have went down about 1050 so she would got you know, somewhere close to 75 percent of that would have been about eight hundred dollars or somewhere by taking a hundred percent if I die early she still gets the same thousand dollars a month it's uh um, most of the stuff I do in retirement is to protect her in case I die early simple as that <clears throat> and, and this way here her, her, she won't have a cut in her finances coming in so that you know that that makes a big difference. If I'd have been single, I'd have got over twelve hundred bucks. It just a lot of that stuff affects how much people get. And so I mean, all of us ain't getting <laughs> them gold-plated pensions, you know. And mine's small enough that it really doesn't affect our lifestyle at all. So I don't know, man. It just try to help you understand what I'm dealing with and how I approached it. You know. Um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, Y'all join me for Tuesday? I got one person. <laughs> Mr. Garcia. <laughs> right now, in case somebody, unless somebody signs up between now and then. We got one new member. So, we'll have a good time anyways. I hate that it took so long, but it's not as easy to explain as uh, as you would think. And it's a lot more complicated if I dove into the daggone calculation and all that bull. It's not hard to do, but uh, it, it, it takes a lot of explaining, for me anyways. <laughs> but y'all take care of yourselves, man. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, we'll talk with y'all later.